So, what is your first memory related to dance? Oh my gosh. Well, when I was uh, oh, three things. I think when I was small, I used to do two different types of dancing, but not ballet or classical like, or contemporary even. I used to do clog dancing with clogs, Lancashire clog dancing, and Yugoslav folk dance, because my father was from former Yugoslavia. So I used to do lots of folk dance. So British folk dance and Yugoslav folk dance. But also I, I, I was really, I used to, when I was really small as well, I used to go to the local library and borrow books and copy the, you know, the positions from the book in the living room with a chair and on furniture and often crashing about. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. if you could choose a three steps. Three steps. Or movement to yeah. represent dance. Oh my God! Which would you? What would they be? <laughs> Choose. I don't know, like running, skipping, and leaping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there any music or sound or soundtrack yes. uh, meaningful for you or for your work? Ah, oh, for my work. Yeah. Well, interesting. M my m recent work, the past few years, I've had no music, actually. Um. And with a project recently with a choreographer called Siobhan Davies in London, I was working with not a soundtrack, but a, an audio track of an amazing artist talking about her work and called Jill Clark. So back in 2011, she gave a talk talking about her work, about dance, but about education and philosophy science, neuroscience a bit, it's very inspiring. So I would listen to this and move with that. So that's quite a profound soundtrack, audio track that I've been working with in my work. Okay, the yeah. last one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to dance? Who would I like to dance? What, with? with? Yeah, right now. Right now? Yeah. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>